See, that's what happens when you're a good person. You tend to project your emotions on others and naturally assume that those other people are like you. They ain't like you. They ain't like you. You got a good heart. But them people out there, they ain't got no good heart. So the creator ain't saying nothing about you got to be, you know your mind, so you got to know their mind because they look like you. No, they come with trickery, foolery, sneakery. They do it all type of stuff. No, creator will never set us up like that. What the creator is primarily saying is that you know the mind of a stranger means that you know how being a stranger is because mm -hmm. you was a stranger in the land of Egypt. Not that you got to be uh, docile or, or let me say um, willy-nilly with, with the stranger. Mm -hmm. But what you have to do is you have to be respectful. You have to be generous. You have to be kind. You have to be helpful. But in the midst of doing all that, you keep your eyes open. Because remember what we said earlier about how people know how good the children of Israel were, how they're so kind and so generous. People will come in and take advantage of that. And if they know you've got a good spirit like that, which you do, a lot of people will wiggle their way into your life just to use you and take advantage of you. If you got a community, they will wiggle their way into your community and be no good in the community just because they know the community is going to take care of them. Mm -hmm. That's not good. I'm all about when a stranger come around, you show them hospitality, you treat them good, you feed them, you clothe them, you house them, but you don't do that for a year and he don't get up and do nothing. And he doesn't support, he doesn't do anything, but just wait for you to give, 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 give. He gives back nothing. He's no longer a stranger after that time. Mm-hmm. So I don't, we, we, this isn't Christianity. We understand that. This isn't Christianity. We don't close our eyes and open our pockets and just give, give, give. Everybody has to earn their keeps. But when somebody, let's say uh, uh, somebody broke down and we put, give them a place to stay for the night, or if we got an Israelite situation where the, the brothers and sisters around the corner are having an event, and they ain't got no room for some of the people. We don't even know them, but they're Hebrew and we, we got a connection with them. Then we can put them up with our place and let them chill and let them sleep, give them a place to stay, give them food to eat, clothes. Or if a family we happen to hear about, let's say uh, Sister Ornit or her job, somebody in her job had a fire that she's cool with. Mm -hmm. And they need a place to stay, and we give them a place to stay. We don't know them. They're strangers. But the hospitality that we would show to them would be, like, superb. It wouldn't be like they would commonly get from people of color in the hood. You follow me? They would be treated like royalty. They would be provided for. They would, everything that they need while they're in our care, they would receive. Everything that we're able to get. Because we know how it was when we were in Egypt, how the taskmasters oppressed us. We can remember how that was. Therefore, you be kind to the stranger because you know how it is to be a stranger.